Welcome back to another vlog, boys. Today, we are going to be fishing with some people who hit us up by text. 217-288-217-288-4070. -288 hit me up. Okay, guys, so we made it to the spot today. We're fishing with Jordan and Mallory. And wouldn't you know it, Caught a fish. it's producing already. <laughs> Mallory got the first one. You linked up Is with it big the. If you do this? It's bigger if you bug. hold it. It's bigger if you hold it out, I hear. Yeah, yeah that. <laughs> there it <laughs> What'd you catch it on? Hand for size. Bandito bug. Texas rig. Woo! Woo! Bandito bug pulling through where the dragon drop didn't. Man, I've been throwing it for a few minutes and she beat us to the punch. Anyways, it's gonna be a fun day of fishing with these two. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Switch you guys over to the GoPro and catch some more. <laughs> that was like first cast since I've been here. Jordan hooked up already. Dang, this is one for the fish tank. Heck yeah. Ooh, baby. <laughs> Too easy. Was that further out or close up? Yeah, they're hanging out maybe by the heat of that concrete. I'm on. I got one. Woo! This is the biggest one we I've caught here. He's looking good. He's looking good. We, we ain't going to talk about weight over here. We're talking about numbers, baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, robo worm. Over here. Yeah, it's working. It's actually the first time I've caught one on one of these. Really? Yeah. Dude, I remember it was my, my early vlogging days and I had those robo worms I bought from Walmart, I think with the yellow tip on the tail, and they were just killer. He's pretty. Drop shot again, pulling through. Hey, that's a decent one. He's he's, he's fat. Pretty. He's cold. Okay. Look how cold he is. Yeah, he is. Wow, what the heck? They're really cute. I hope he didn't scare away all the others. Woo. Jordan and Mallory are raking them up, man. I can't seem to get a bite. Let me throw this crankbait right here by the drain, and then I'm going to circle this pond right here. Come on. I know you want to chase that little fishy right into the drain. Come on. No way, man. Nothing in this drain. I'm in disbelief. Look at these three turtles. Normally they would be running away. What the heck? <laughs> these turtles do not even care. Weird. Fished a little bit out of all three ponds and they are smoking me guys. So I gotta literally, I gotta try something different. I'm seeing the little bait fish on the edges here. I'm thinking maybe a fluke, but I don't know if I have them on me. So let's see what I do have and just throw something different. I've been retimed for like 20 minutes trying to figure out what I think would work. I've got one small moving bait, uh, like a natural looking fish deal with an underbelly hook. It's like a four or five aught hook, a little big for that uh, sucker. Anyways, and then I've got the Ned rig, the Rattlin Ned on uh, one of those mushroom head jigs from Shop Carl's. So uh, in fact, all this stuff you can get at Carl's Bait and Tackle. So let's go ahead and throw it. Hey, I'm on. Woohoo! He got one? Yeah, from the spot. I don't know. I haven't caught him yet. <laughs> he's fighting. Oh, he's huge. Biggest one out of here. Yoo-hoo! This is my biggest one out of these ponds, boys. Rattling Ned pulling through when nothing else works. All right, that's a deal. First one for me of the day. Thank goodness. GoPro battery's about to die, so it was tripping up. I figured I'd get the release shot on the big camera for you guys, but we're pumped. We finally caught a fish. It's been about an hour or so, so let's catch some more. We got the Ned Rig pulling through for us finally. So, uh, that might be the first Ned, Ned Rig fish in months. I haven't thrown the Ned Rig a lot. No, you know what? We caught a smallmouth in uh, Portland on the Rattling Ned, but aside from that, I have not really been throwing the Ned Rig around a lot. So, let's get him in the water. Sick. One tenth ounce mushroom head jig. And I think this is the smelt colored Rattlin' Ned. Let's go ahead and try and snag some more. You got one? Dang. Yeah. You better be. Look at her. Dang. She been eating. She's okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. She called too. 
All right, y'all, we're gonna hit another spot down the street that I know of. I've caught a couple decent ones out of this place before. It's a smaller pond, and there's like a big pond on property as well, which we might just dangle a line for a few minutes, but we're gonna try and get some serious catches before sunset. We've got a little over an hour to do it. The place is 10 minutes away. I think we're gonna go crank on some bigs, y'all, so stay tuned. Let's get over to the next spot. We are at the final spot for the evening, ladies and gents. Check out this little gem right here. Love it, only fished it twice. Whew, never shown anybody this place. There's also a pond, a larger one over this hill. So we've got a couple options. I think we're gonna just scope this place out, try this one down here, see what happens. And then possibly if we don't get any hits, move on to that one up there. I think we're gonna have some luck here. I've caught like a three pounder out of this place before. Surely there's even something bigger than that in here. Okay, here we go guys. Jordan's on at the second spot. I think biggest one of the day by a quarter pound or a half pound. Oh, sick. And that was on the, that was on the robo worm again? Oh, Thanks, tearing it up. Crushing it, thank you. A glimpse of hope. Were you working it like, were you letting it sit or yeah. popping it? Yeah. Uh, pretty slow. Pretty slow, man. I think that's the deal today. Yeah. I was throwing the jig. We've already tossed around quite a, through, uh, quite a few lures over here, but it looks like slow and steady is what's going to do the trick. Let me get my drop shot out. I don't think he went anywhere. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying. Sick. Oh, hey, he got a little bit. <laughs> he got one. Oh, jeez. That's funny. I'm like, I think I got one. <laughs> Is that my second fish? <laughs> I think that's only number two for me, guys. We are on a roll today, crushing it. Where's the bigs? I know they're here. God, that was a good one. Dang. He like snatched it. Damn. Look guys, where this inflow of water is, I think it gets the bass coming up to feed on whatever might be flowing in here. And it might be dinner time here in a second. I'm thinking this dragon drop is gonna pull through. I missed a good bite a second ago. Yeah, that's this one. This is the one you should get because all the other ones are more expensive and it's just stupid. You're just wasting money. Yeah, like the finish is maybe nicer or whatever, but honestly, like you'll, you're gonna scratch them all up anyways. Like on the, uh, like the scorpion. The scorpion is dope. Yeah, like the scorpion I think is the 17 because I bought it when it was like, it was not that old. Like, it, And that's why with timing, that's my most viewed video was the first impressions on the scorpion. It's got like 100,000 now. That's that's the one that people like to see. But um, I mean, that's like almost the same as the Corrado, right? Yes. Yeah, but I would get the scorpion over the Corrado because the scorpion has the brake system of the metanium, which uh, is a little bit higher end maybe. That one's like $500. The sound is what gets you. It's just so cool. Uh, the scorpion's over here though, come cast it. It's about the same except it's very clanky, it needs a service. This one's brand new. The, on the metanium and the scorpion that have the more adv advanced braking system, you can change it. So like on the scorpion, and there's one through four, uh -huh. and then there's also auto. auto. So yeah, auto yeah. is what I leave it on, and it wouldn't yeah. matter if I'm throwing a weightless Senko yeah, or a, like that, one ounce that bait. Chip adjust it, right? You don't have to mess with the brakes, and I trust this one more than any of them. It's been so good. Yeah, that's super cool. So this one, just imagine how smooth that one is. Yeah. And this one was like that. Uh, we've dropped it, like it's kind of effed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, the, when you reel it, you'll really feel it needs a service. But like casting it, it should it should be fine. You might feel like something like a gear's loose, but it's not uh, normally like that. So chunk that thing. Red one? The red, yeah, I'll throw you throw that next. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it is also a scorpion. Okay. They're both scorpions, but this is the MGL. So I guess it's like magnesium spool or it's supposed to be super light. Um, and that's just the DC version of the Scorpion. Yeah, all the, re all the rest of mine are right-handed except for that one. I'm starting to, I'm gonna probably start buying all mine left-handed. I like left-handed. I like setting the hook with my right hand, I think. That's kind of the, I think so. All right, guys, we have completely shut the place down. Nothing on but Christmas lights out here anymore. Definitely gotta thank Jordan and Mallory for meeting up with us today. Super sick, you guys do not forget Text me 217-288-4070 and let's do some fishing together. Uh, they, they slayed it. They it caught works. a lot more than me. It works. It works. It's like, yeah. it's like Guggen Bates, baby. It worked. Yeah, so <laughs> and so uh, we had a bunch of fun. We didn't catch much here. I had like hyped the place up. And uh, you know, it was still fun. It was still fun. Lots it was of one bites. of those days. Not lots of bites. Day. 
Uh, I think a different day, this place is definitely, yeah. I've, I've seen it when it's on fire and I was just catching them left and right. We're definitely gonna hit the place up in the future and also they're talking about getting a boat or something in the future. So you might see them in some future videos. Yeah. Uh, they invited Devin and I out, so it might be four of us on uh, some kind of, you know, aluminum boat having a little bit of fun at the local ponds and lakes. We'll see what happens to you guys on the future videos and we'll catch y'all then. Peace. <gasps>